Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at designing an events countdown hub. This is the prototype that we'll be following. Uh, in, in the course of this video, I'll be showing you some trick uh, in, in the middle, so endeavor to watch uh, to the end. And also towards the end, I'll also show you how we'll uh, make this to, to actually really count down. So uh, I'll advise that you watch the video to the end. All right, so without wasting time, let's get started. So I have Visual Studio uh, open here. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create a, a Xamarin form mobile mobile project. So I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it Events Hub. Select the blank template. Say OK. Now that we have this uh, created for us, so the next thing I'm going to do is to um, create uh, the UI. So I'm going to start with a grid. I'm going to delete this and start with a grid as the as the uh, root object. And um, so um, what we're going to do is to um, set some properties for the grid. So let's let's bring in some properties for this grid. Horizontal option vertical option fill and fill and expand and uh another thing i'm going to do is to let me set the skeleton of the of the grid so this is the skeleton of the of the page rather i'm going to close this put the skeleton so i have two grid i have the parent grid and i have another grid inside so all my content is going into this uh this second grid this very particular grid actually second grade so all my contents will be going right uh, this space okay so let's look at our prototype our prototypes uh, show that uh, we have a label at the top then we have this list so we that, that's why we divided the the uh, column into two rows so this first row will, will hold the title that is the event and the second row will uh, Hold our collect our list. So in this uh, video, we're using the, the collection view in the marine forms. All right. So without wasting time, let's continue. So I will. What I'm going to do is to bring in the label for uh, the events. So uh, has the text for as events font size of 24 bold, color is black, and vertical option is center. Now. Um, are we using a collection view like I said? So uh, let's let's do our collection view. Collection view right here. All right. So the first thing I want to tell you is that if you're using collection view uh, for this project, you want to be sure that you want to be sure that you're using the marine forms uh, 4.3. So I'm very sure I've not updated this uh, this marine form. So let me go ahead and update it just right away so that you can see. Uh, okay, so uh, the, the thing is this, uh, before I update, let me let me show you what you're going to see. If we try to run this project as a, as a, like this, we're going to get an error that we need to set a flag for collection view. So if you're not using Xamarin Forms 4.0, 4.3, uh, then you have to go and set the flag, the experimental flag, in each of the project, the iOS project and the uh, Android project, uh, depending on the one you are using. But if you if you update your Xamarin forms to 4.3, then there is no need to set the flag because the flag has been removed uh, uh, before it was released. You can see uh, if you're having this error, so is that you go ahead and set the experimental flag, or you update your Xamarin forms. So what I'm going to do is to update my Xamarin forms right away. It's is the quickest for me, I believe. I'm going to select all this and update. Make sure you see you update the uh, Android support uh, core util, util uh, library or else uh, you will also still run into some issues. So if you want to update, just update all this and uh, continue. All right. So now that that is updated, um, 
let me clean my solution uh, from experience uh, so, uh, it could be an issue at the end of the day so that's clean so i'm going to rebuild to be sure that everything is fine so while that continues to build uh, we are, i'm very sure it's going to be successfully so let's continue to set our, our view height so i'm going to set the collection view the item item uh items templates okay so i have to do those here that's item item templates okay so um let's check our prototype so let me explain how, we, how we're going to do it so the first thing we're going to use is a frame so we can have a rounded corner and inside that frame we're going to have a grid the grid will have two rows uh, for the one that will hold that will hold this uh, tie to and also the row that will take uh, all the all these uh, other components of the events the date component of the event uh, so in this second row we're going to have a stack layout to stack each of these components and also each of these components will, will also be a stack layout so we have a frame a parent frame that has two rows here we have a stack layout that contains these dots and the campaign. This dot is the box view, the rounded box view. Then the second row of this grid will contain an, a stack layout. The stack layout will have other four stack layout inside it. So that is the way we are going to go about this. So what I'm going to do is to bring in the data template. So let's let's go ahead and do data template. And bring uh, our data template in. So what I have here is a frame, a print frame uh, that has shadow, corner radius of 15, as margin, padding, height of 100. And uh, inside it we have an uh, image. Okay, so if you look at this, we have something like a background that contains a clock. So we're using an image for that. So let's bring the image in because we've not had the image to to. Our project so the image clock uh, this is the image right here let me open it you can see so this is the image uh, it's very uh, faint so I'm going to copy that and uh, put in our project I'll be using the Android project so I'll paste it in the drawables folder if you're using the highest project then you can you can put it in your uh, resource folder so I'm going to paste this right here uh, for the sake of people that will be using the IOS project uh, from the GitHub repo, I'm going to paste this right here so that you also have it. All right, so uh, back to what we are saying, we have the image at the background. The image is set to be uh, at the end, the right end. Uh, so horizontal option is N. Then right there, we now have we have a stack layout that contains a box view and the types of our events and we have another stack layout that contains other four stack layouts like i explained so this is the days component the hours component the minutes component and the seconds component okay so now that we have it this the next thing we're going to do is to uh set up to bind some uh some a list uh, to our view so uh, the first thing we're going to do is to create a class that's going to that has a property uh, that we're going to use to generate the, the, the list. So you know, we need a list of events. So we create a class called events and has uh, some properties, has a date, the event title, the time span, the days components, hours components, minutes components, seconds, and the background color. Once we're able to con control the background color uh, of the list. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, set up a property that's going to hold all the events so a list of events right here then uh, I want to get a method out here and what the method will do is to generate a, a dummy data for us so I have four, four lists uh, the title uh, campaign Tony's wedding hackathon exams as uh, background color uh, different colors then the dates what I did what, what I've done here is to create a date from today and had uh, a time span 
of some uh, of some uh, our days components hour minutes and seconds so we can have a date in the future so once it's a date in the future we can then now create a countdown for it so that's the essence of uh, having this like this so it will, your, your your own eventually will be that okay so you have you have a, a page where you can select the date for the event so once the date is selected you save the date instead of having to uh, set a time span like this so once once a future date is selected and you store that date uh, for that event that is the date that you'll be using so but for the purpose of demonstration that's why i had to go uh, this route all right so uh, the last thing I'm going to do is to actually really set up um, the the data uh, at at page launch. So I'm going to create a method here uh, just to tidy things up. Call it setup, and right there, currently it's, going to, it's just going to be doing two things. First of all, get the list of all the events and then bind it to the view. So uh, I'm setting this is all events right up here. I'm using this get events to get all this domain data out and put it in this event, uh, uh, all events list, then assign it to the item source of our collection view. Okay, so this is all we have done now. Let's run this and see what we have. Our list is not showing. Uh, I don't know why that's happening. Let's see. Let's check right here. Collection view with a row one. Okay, so um, now I know what is what is happening. So the error right here is that uh, we didn't we actually did not set up our we call our method to set up. So recall set up right here, so we can get the list of all the events okay so now we have a list of all our events but, but all the components are set to zero and uh it's turned out we don't have a date where well, the components are set to zero um normally if we uh, it's it's supposed to actually give us the date component but because by default it's zero at at, at setup, it has not yet loaded uh, the the timeline. It, there's no there's no time span of in the property. So like we have here, yeah, this time span uh, has not been set. So it's still uh, still nothing. So we're having zero 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 uh, in a in a components. Okay. So trick number one. If you look at this list, you see that. That's why the fact that we set some margin for this for this guy, uh, it's still not uh, giving us the margin. So there's a bug in for in collection view. Uh, currently, I've seen it in quite some places. So the 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 act to this is actually to wrap all everything in your data templates. You wrap it with uh, so you you have different ways. That you set the padding. Uh, so you have a, you can have a parent grid here and set the padding. Uh, right right there so the padding can serve as a margin eventually but if you another option is to wrap this around a content view so we'll put this in a content view and you know already we set the margin of zero and five before so you put in a content view and and run this we'll see that uh, our margin will show uh, right away Same. So now we have we have the spacing for our margin. All right. So uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, actually let us have the countdown uh, for uh, our events. So we are going to use a timer for that. We're going to use uh, a device dot, uh, a device timer. We're going to put it inside our setup uh, method. So this is what we have. We have a timer that ticks every every one second. And what we are doing is we check we are looping through all the all the events and we are subtracting the current date. That's the date that we set. So all this this date is the time for each of them. 
we are subtracting that date from today to know uh, the difference in the date and the result that we're going to get is a time span so the time span is set to the time span of our event and we reset the item source of the list to all events so by the time we run this now we should see our uh, countdown uh, you know starting from the, the, the current uh, date of each one and the countdown will be going as expected so now you see we have our countdown for the first event the second event the third event and the fourth event all right guys thank you very much for sticking uh, to the end of this video please uh, endeavor to subscribe to this channel uh, so that when I upload new content uh, you're going to uh, get notified and also uh, I'll be starting uh, a new series uh, on tips and tricks in the marine forms it's more of tricks more, more of tips more of insight into the workings of the marine forms so endeavor to subscribe and also click the notification bell uh, so that when uh, I upload those content, you will be notified. And also, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up so that other people can find it easily. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.